All right, y'all, so this video is going to be about New Jersey protesters who break windows at home of man accused going on a racist rant. Now, uh, I'm going to go through this and then put my personal opinion at the end of this. Now, um, Edward Cogney Matthews, 45, faced charges of bias, intimidation, and harassment in connection with the interaction he had with a neighbor last Friday. Now, the video mask can be, using, can be using the N-word and other slurs for arguing with a black neighbor. Officer arrives on scene and Matthew Peters start antagonizing the officer. Uh, it's unclear what prompted the heated exchange. Now, police officer stood out Matthews at condo and exit place condo missed Monday as a crowd about one of the people shot for him to come out. Officers later escorted him to a patrol vehicle while the crowd threw plastic balls at him. Uh, eventually, they broke windows in his condo. Police and riot gear had pushed the crowd back. Now, neighbors say last Friday's incident it was not the first time Matthew has erased neighbors, harassed neighbors, or used racial slurs. Now, um, one person said the guy is off his rocker and they need to get him out, Alaya Robinson. He cannot be racially harassing and assaulting people, spitting on people, busting down doors, breaking windows, and writing right lives matter on stuff. Now, uh, Matthew's charge was placed on a summons by a municipal court judge to be heard at a future court appearance. Now, goes on to say, Mount Laurel Police Department does not tolerate hate or bias and intimidation in any form. Police sent a statement, this type of behavior is totally unacceptable. We can assure residents like this are thoroughly investigated, and those who commit such offenses will be held accountable for their actions. Okay, so, a couple things. Um, as far as them being held accountable for their actions, you know... Obviously, the race is going to be a part in that, and that is up to the district attorney and the judge on what they do. Now, um, one other thing, as far as this guy, okay? Now, I don't know his background, okay? But obviously, he used some kind of racial slur here, alright? But, this woman here said that, you know, assaulting people, spitting on people, busting down doors and breaking windows. Okay, so... If he is literally busting down someone's door, you know, that's going to fall into a felony. All right, that's going to turn into burglary. All right, if he's assaulting people, you know, it could be a simple assault, which is a misdemeanor, or it could be up to felony assault or felony assault with a deadly weapon. So, you know, I would think if he's busting down multiple doors, assaulting numerous people, that he would be in jail for a long time. Now, again, the justice system is kind of messed up, but, you know, I don't think that this guy would specifically be out of jail for that, okay? Now, as far as him writing White Lives Matter on stuff, that is not the issue, okay? Um, I have no problem with that. Now, uh, again, as far as him, you know, racially harassing people, sawing people, spitting on people, bust down doors, breaking windows, all that, yeah, obviously, you know, there's a problem with that. But as far as him writing White Lives Matter on stuff, what's the difference? Okay, I mean, really, if we really want to get down to it, all right, what's the difference between y'all screaming Black Lives Matter, putting Black Lives Matter on signs, getting streets painted Black Lives Matter, Spraying Black Lives Matter all over everything, or putting BLM over everything, okay? And what's the difference between him putting White Lives Matter? There is no difference in that, okay? So just to clear that up, there's no difference in that at all, all right? So if he wants to uh, write White Lives Matter all over his house and the street, there's no different than people writing Black Lives Matter in the street or on the sidewalk, okay? So I just want to clear that up. Now, um, again... Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below so y'all can um, read this for yourself, look at the pictures. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank y'all for watching, and I'll stay safe out there.